Okay, so my friends don't think I'm too crazy in that room. I'm going to unbox this really quick. As you can see, see by the title, it's um it's the Logitech G15 um, gaming keyboard. I got it from Newegg. It's actually refurbished for $60. And the reason I got it refurbished, I was going to buy a new one for like, hopefully it was going to go on sale Black Friday for like 70 but more than likely $80 on Black Friday. Or like 70 something probably. But uh, I decided they included like a one year warranty or something for free with this. So I'm like, well, why not? I mean, yeah, it's a one year, one year guaranteed warranty. So I'm like, I figured, and the reviews are pretty good on the on the refurbished stuff. So figured, why not save ten twenty dollars and get the same as that keyboard? So let's see what a refurbished keyboard you get. Okay, your package slip. Logitech G510. Oh. And you got that. Wow, that's a heavy keyboard, actually. And the box is a lot bigger, so it doesn't feel that heavy. Slide that off to the side here. Yeah. Okay. And you can see the keyboard right, right here in the plastic. I got this keyboard more so not for this screen right here. You can see it, and I'll take off the plastic so you can see it better. But for um, the fact that it can, the keyboard can be backlit to any coat you want. I really like that. It comes with this um, this wrist plate. I might try it, but I've tried one before and it, it wasn't very comfortable for me. So I'll try it again, but I probably won't use it. It's nice that it has the option and it comes with a little wrist plate to lift up your wrist. Um, so here's the keyboard. I'm surprised actually how heavy it is. I didn't expect it to be this heavy. Um, has your little feet. I have to have these feet. The <laughs> feet here. I wasn't even showing it in the camera. Feet here that lift up the keyboard. I don't understand why like, keyboards are flat. Because to me it's not ergonomic at all. That's nice. The USB audio. I'm going to like that because... I can just switch my headset now to this and it gives really good microphone quality. I agree, Logitech's USB audio, so I really like that. And I, yeah, like I was saying with the colors before, I'm gonna, I like, my favorite color is orange, so I'm gonna make it an orange keyboard. You really can't find any other keyboard that can go orange, and this one can. So, plus they have all the extra features, like, I'm guessing this is a little game switch. I think that must turn off the Windows key. Turn it off and off. I'll turn off this key right here so you don't press it accidentally. Uh, mute for your microphone, headphone. Uh, the screen controls, I guess that show, it shows you all the extra information. That sort of thing. Brightness control for the keyboard. The volume rocker, that's one thing my volume knob's been going off on my Dell keyboard. So I've been wanting to get that. Mute button, your keys right here. That's cool, I like. Now I can go for my mouse right here, right here and switch the volume like this. Versus having to go right here is where my Dell key is. And it gets in the way. That would be nice. Plus, I'll figure out what to use these macro keys for. I'm sure for something, these different macros. I'm sure it would be really nice. A lot of different key combos. I don't really play any games that need them. If I remember, I could probably program these for StarCraft 2. I'm going to start learning how to play that. But otherwise, that's been an unboxing of the Logitech G510 keyboard. If you have any questions, please comment below. And thanks for watching.